Now to a look at how cancer patients and their families can get financially crushed by the cost of their treatment. It's a story we first saw in the Wall Street Journal, and one mother shared her ordeal with us as she struggles to pay the bills for her son's care. Lara is here with that story. This is just so incredibly difficult. It is so difficult, Whit. Good morning to you. A cancer diagnosis can be overwhelming. Then add to that, navigating the medical system, and the cost of treatment. So many patients and caregivers are now contending with the growing economic burden of cancer. Erica Olensky of Texas says cancer treatment for her five-year-old child, August, has not only been emotionally draining, but also financially. You can go into the world making all of the best decisions you can. And a diagnosis like this can swoop in and it will affect all of those structures and sense of stability in ways that are unimaginable. Erica, who has alopecia, says August was diagnosed with brain cancer at five months old and is still fighting the disease. She says it's not only the medical bills that have added up, but also other expenses related to cancer treatment that have caused her to recently file for bankruptcy. Impact on earning potential in combination with just like housing, temporary housing, food, you know, all of those other expenses that come with long-term hospital stays. Cancer survivors are 2.7 times more likely to declare bankruptcy as compared to someone without a known cancer history. The Wall Street Journal recently reporting on the cost of cancer, or as it's called in the medical field, financial toxicity. The journal finding that many new cancer drugs cost more than 200000 per year before insurance. And those costs vary highly for those with insurance. We are actually seeing some cancer patients live longer with the disease, thanks in part to some of these really expensive drugs. And so the, the downside to that is sort of these costs. But the American Cancer Society says there are some things patients can do to lessen the financial burden. The concepts of having three, three strategies are really important. The first is to understand your coverage, get to the bottom of what your health insurance will pay for and what it won't. The second is to seek financial assistance. Don't wait, ask for it. And thirdly, work with your oncology team. Tell them what you are experiencing because there may be opportunities. For example, a shift to generics is sometimes a perfectly reasonable approach to undertake. Another factor contributing to the financial burden, not being able to work. The Wall Street Journal finding that patients who get chemotherapy are more likely to stop working within four years than those who don't. Guys, it's just a huge additional yeah, stress yeah. for people who are already dealing with so much. Yeah. It is so much, such a weight, but ask for that help. Absolutely. Speak up for yourself and advocate. Great yeah. advice. Lara, thank you.